All right, guys, this is end of turn five for Conrad's Commandos. Um, the the uh, Capellans have counterattacked us. We just took one of their dropships, one of their Union dropships. They've counterattacked us. Three skull mission for the five units, the five allied units that are there. Each of them's got to do a three skull. So this is our three skull um, battle against the Capellans. Now, I couldn't find a three skull mission against the Capellans, but I, I was able to get another three and a half skull against the Yarn Folk. So that's what we're doing right here. Um, yeah, so there's supposed to be just one lance. Most likely it's in this base here. If they get reinforcements, they'll most likely come from here. So I chose to drop on this side, this corner of the map. Plus it gave us two rocks to hide behind to start. So uh, we're just going to push up. Kind of going to stay to the left here, I think. Use this ridge line as some cover. Uh, till we find out what's going on here. Three and a half skulls. I mean, it could be anything. You know, we could get something bad. It could be something easy. I don't know. But we got an Ultra 20 and an LBX 20. Moving to position. Should be able to help out taking down any heavy mechs that are here. Move order Still nothing. Okay. Um, I'm going to start you in active mode though. And we're going to put you up here in the trees. Coordinates received. LBX, or so the um, TBM carrier can go here. Bring the AC5 carrier back here for now. It doesn't really need to move up. It's not very accurate. So, um, kind of doing the best of what we have with vehicles. There's actually several vehicles we have, like three parts of, that I want to pick up something for, like a Nidhogg. What is that, a Corsair? Yep, Commando, Corsair. Okay. How do I want to handle this? Let's reserve it. Let's see what... Let's see what happens here. I'm interested to see what this Corsair is going to do. Is it just the two of them? That's interesting. Somebody's going to be taking a lot of incendiaries this turn. I'm receiving you. All right, let's move away uh, from the uh, carrier for now. I'm gonna park over here. Heading out, full speed. So we don't get splash damage. Took a little bit that last turn. Waiting for orders. All right, Haram. Let's get up here. Um, do we walk it up or do we? I mean, we could try and delete this commando. Although I think we should probably try and walk one extra hex, huh? Uh, what's the chance we're going to go before this guy? We reserved we reserved once or twice with this guy. Once, I think. Let's stay in the trees. Let's move. I'm very unsure at this point if there's just these two. I think it is, but I don't know for sure. 32%. This guy's a stealth commando, eh? Okay. Uh, we're going to go Ultra. We're going to fight. Ooh, that's really hot. Let's run hot this first turn and see what we can connect with on this guy. Try and strip some of this armor. Well, 32%. Yeah, you know what? Let's double shoot it. Next turn, we're not going to use it. Drop some heat. Drop the recoil. Landed one. Okay, nice. Somebody's hardcore AMS. Good to know. Waiting for orders. Forty-six percent. Run active. I think we're gonna do that. Heading out. I got a feeling we're gonna be moving probably almost <laughs> first with this guy next turn. Nope. Crap. Come on, flame on. Negative damage. Repeat negative damage. All right, we got one hit. Commander. All right, let's hope this guy's AMS is burned out for this turn. That's kind of clustering together there. Not much we can really do on about it, way. but let's move this Double way a little time. bit. This might end up being a really easy match. We might just get these two guys. Ah, uh, let's go all out. I'm gonna drop the sensors on this guy too. Affirmative. 
Nope. I think the sensors are immune. We'll move back and get one Chevron of evasion if we can. And then... Okay, I only got... They got like two and a half turns of, of thermal on this guy, so... Let's just apply some heat. So he's got a thumper, a broadside, MML9. Ah, shit, he's just going to shoot these down. It's an integrated laser AMS. So let's go with faint then. It's harder to shoot them down. Firing full complement on enemy. Got one. Come on. All right, we landed one. You didn't shoot any of them down, though. That's good. Commander. All right, Tomahawk, full speed, please. You're pretty good with initiative too, so we're gonna run it up. We're gonna go cluster on this guy. We're gonna fire everything. We did lose a medium heavy laser. Uh, the last battle, closest thing I had to it was an ER medium pirate laser. Um, roughly the same damage, but a little bit better range. They didn't have any medium he heavies, but uh, this actually does quite nicely. Firing all weapons. Nice. So nice little balance. It's got a little extra range, but the da but the damage falls off, and it's got variable damage, so it's about the same as a medium heavy laser. The heat's the same. It's exactly the same. So. Worked out okay, although that's the only medium py our pirate medium laser that we have, so... Ooh, what are you doing? You bastard. Coming in to die, are you? If that's a charge attack, I'm gonna be so pissed off. No. Commander. Okay. So if I do this... Can't charge him anywhere here, eh? Hmm. I don't want to be up there. Standing by. Right, we're unstable, that's why. Yeah, we got to get where that guy can't see us directly. Let's get here. We might get a bit of splash damage on our guys here, but it's just a flamer, so it's not a big deal. I mean, it'll add heat, but still. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We're going to take it, though. One hit. It's all right. Take the one hit. Yep. This guy's being a bastard. So now is that? That is a green attack. Physical weapon. Man, we're lined up on our friggin' avatar. Let's go from this side. As much as I want to shoot him in the back. Let's do this. Come on. Nope. Not today. Negative damage. Oh. Negative damage. <laughs> Oh, uh, LBX-20 for the win. You still loving this guy back here. Reporting. Minimal damage. And if everything goes well this next turn or so... Yes, Commander. Then... He's inside. There we go. I copy. Then this guy is going to be deleted. Delete. Um. Looks like it's just these two. I'm actually kind of shocked. All right, so it does still shoot at the. Uh Orders. Okay. It shoots at the uh, sensors as well. I didn't think it did, but it does. Okay, so our Ultra's jammed. That'll drop us a bit of heat. We did land one. You know what? Let's go this way. Yeah. Two hits in the leg. 
Nice. I'm your spaniel. Didn't get past the armor, but it's all right. That's all right. Let's get the AC5 up here. Not doing any good back here. And let's get full speed. Piece of cake. So the integrated laser AMS should be heating this guy up tremendously, but he's not firing very much, so... He's in faint again. Oh, he's not firing now, though. That was good damage. I think we got a good shot in the leg, though. Oof. Someone's got to run. My mech is coming apart around me. Taking heavy hits, Commander. Reporting heavy. Damage. I meant to do this at the beginning and I forgot. Okay, yours is already active. Receiving you. It's not going to help that much, but it might. Consider me there. Okay, let's get a cluster shot in this guy. Yeah. Now let's see how you handle this. Ooh. Is that the leg or was that the torso? Torso. Alright, well. Aye, aye. Still jammed. Ah, oh, man. Let's just shoot him. Locked up. Ready for orders. Yeah, you need to be just back a little bit. On my way. This is not the perfect place to be sitting, but um, I think we're just going to shoot him. I want to get some instability on this guy so we can get some great. Bumper crit, nice. Scored a critical hit. Receiving you. This will be a nice score if we can get it. I don't think we'll be able to Frankie it. We got to take his head off. Which means we gotta make him bail, and I don't think that's gonna happen. He's gonna die before that happens, so... Not much we can do. But if we can get two pieces off this guy, that'd be nice. For later. Alright. Commander. Heading out. Full speed. Ready for order. There's a better chance to shoot these down, but... If we can land a couple of kinetic shots now that he's warmed up a little bit, this might deter him from shooting next turn. Or we, we might get lucky and get that torso. He's nice and toasty. Let's see what he does. He's going for it. Might as well. System's holding. Minimal damage on that hit. Oh, he runs pretty cool. Standing by. He runs pretty cool. I copy. Ultra 20 still jammed. Damn it. 93%. We close, so if we go with dead fire, pretty good. What about SRM acid? A little better. Let's go after the far leg. Ooh, what was that from? That's a cam armor exploded. And that's it. That was a three and a half skull. Mission successful. Well, there you go. Well, this was the last battle in that fight. So, because um, the other four players have already gone. I'm just going to say that was the commander of the force coming out for the final fight. And we managed to take them out. Yeah, right. You want to take that piece from us? Go F, go F yourself. Fuse. 
Yeah, I, I, the sad thing is that I had, had to take this mission from the Capellans. We're going to take that. Um, uh, yeah, our 12 sheet beacons. Nice. Uh, not bad. Chameleon. Endo steel. Ballistic. Accuracy of ballistic weapons. Recoil reduction. XL gyro. IFF jammer. That's kind of nice. Tracker sensors. Support. Tactics. Um, I'm going to grab that because we don't see those very often. Mortar acid. Mortar fast gam. Bumper ammo. So, although this is really nice too. There's a lot of really nice stuff here. It all came off that one guy too. Um, the broadside, 10 ton broadside. This uses mortar ammo, so we can get that anywhere. Immune to AMS. That's the thing I like about mortars, although it does have a minimum range of 180 meters. I don't know where this would end up, though. I'm trying to think for um, Fists of Dorn, what he would want here. Um, narc launcher we've got. We've got a clan narc launcher, I think. Or do we have ammo? Nah. I know we need a narc. This is really nice, too, for later. For the Ultra 20. See, the tracker sensors are even nice, too, for engaging at long range with the Ultra. I mean, you get a minus two short range bonus, but if you're in that close, you're in trouble anyway. Um, I'm going to grab the broadside. It's not often that we see this, and this will add some uh, flexibility to loadouts. So let's grab that. See what we get. All right, I got a commando part, AOE Rocket 5. Okay, AR-12, nice. Armored Cowl is nice, especially now with the new injury system. Ballistic, excellent. Regular heat sink, I think we can just sell that. Mortar ammo, acid ammo, excellent for the uh, broadside. Half ton of uh, Inferno we'll hang on to for sure. All right, so that's actually not too bad, considering we were only fighting two mechs. All right, so that's the end of turn five for Conrad's commandos. Um, moving on to turn six. Now that we've got that dropship, some things are going to start happening. We've got to start moving around. There's a massive invasion in the orange sector, sector which I'm sure you've seen in the, in the turn five video. So, um, yeah, there's going to be some interesting fighting going on. I think the next few turns are going to be kind of pivotal. Uh, the, uh, some of the commanders have ha got a bit of friction going on, too, which is kind of nice in the Discord. Um, all in character, of course. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um... But I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Um, also, go back to the um, Turn 5 video to check out anybody else's battles. Uh, I know there's a few other battles that were played. Uh, we've got two for Conrad's Commandos, and I think there's one for um, the Flaming Tigers. And I don't know, there might be somebody else there. I, I, at this point, I can't remember. But uh, go check out any other videos back on the other video. Just check in the description for those links. All right, until next time, we'll see you later.